Hey there, it's Amanda, and I'm back after I know I've been absent for a few weeks. We're kind of busy. We bought a company, Schoolhouse, which we're very excited about. It turns out that <laughs> that takes a lot of work. So I was pretty much glued to my computer, and now I am chopping rosemary because we are gonna make shell on shrimp with rosemary, garlic, and chili. And it's a recipe from Sarah Jenkins. Sarah Jenkins is a chef and uh, who also writes and who has done lots of uh, great work for Food 52 and somebody who I happen to have known since I think when I was in college. This is a great simple recipe. <laughs> I'm doing the hardest step right now, which is chopping some garlic. Oh, sorry, this is rosemary. <laughs> chopping some rosemary and I'm going to chop some garlic in a moment. So I've got two big cloves of garlic and um, I'm just gonna smash them. Ooh, sorry, Fiverr, didn't mean to scare you. And chop them up. So, yep, yeah, you know, so it's a new year and there's the whole thing, new year, new you, but sorry to say that it's new year and old me because it's uh, close, it's actually after seven and I'm just starting to do not only one, but two videos um, before serving them to video dinners to my family. So. Hang in for the ride. It's gonna be fun, but this is, we're gonna do some shrimp, and then I'm gonna do another recipe that is gonna go on the next weekend. This is it, this is the prep. All you need is this and shrimp and a pan and some oil, and we're gonna head over to the stove. So I will see you over there momentarily. Okay, here we are at the stove, and I've got a quarter cup of olive oil heating in a big pan. You want a pan that is nice and heavy and just large enough to fit all of your shrimp, and it's, um, one and a half pounds of whole shrimp with the shells on. You don't have to do it with the shells on, but Sarah really encourages it, and I do too. I've had this before, it's delicious. Okay, we're gonna let that heat for a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. The, the shrimp is cold. In an ideal world, I would have let it... Ow! Um, um, <laughs> sorry. The shrimp is sort of a little wet, so it's um, spitting water at me. Um, so I would have let it come to a little bit, warm up a little bit. All right, so you're supposed to spread it in one layer. <laughs> I'm sort of standing far away from it because I don't want to get my, I don't want to mess up my new shirt. Yes, I could wear an apron, but I don't do that, it turns out. Okay, uh, put that guy in there. Oh, wow, okay, so this is a, it's probably a 12 inch pan. You kind of need a 12 inch pan, okay. So we're gonna spread these out. Whoa, whoa. All right. And, and I'm just gonna let them cook until they start getting pink on, you know, they're basically, they're seeing cooked through on that side and then I'm gonna flip them once, cook the other side. Then we're gonna add the uh, garlic and the rosemary and the chili. Okay, whoo. It is time to start turning them. As you can see, they're nice and pink. Okay, so as soon as you turn these guys, and I gotta hurry here, I wanna start adding the aromatics because we want them to have time to do their magic and infuse the shrimp. All right, so I've got a chili. It calls for a chili to our bowl. You can use whatever kind of chili you like. Okay, I broke that in. Adding the rosemary and the garlic together. You know, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm gonna try to scrape it into the, the oil so that it, it, you know, warms through. But once I give it the last toss, then it's all gonna get nicely distributed. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it, how evenly it's cooking right now. And I'm just gonna try to move my shrimp around to make sure that it's getting cooked evenly. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit now. We'll come back when it's just about done. I am gonna shut off the heat. Maybe we'll take these all out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them onto a serving platter. I feel like this and like a big salad, some bread. That is a nice dinner. We are gonna have it with pasta, but uh, which is also gonna be great. But you can do a lot with this. I'm squeeze some lemon over. Ooh, nice. Put some lemons around for people to add. Here is our shell on shrimp with rosemary and garlic and chili. And look at that, it took no time at all. Now I'm gonna taste one. 
I put on, oops, I think what I forgot, the salt. Ooh. So I'm gonna do that with the platter of shrimp too. So you just wanna do a nice flaky salt all over. People can add more at the table, but there you go. Pretty, right? <laughs> okay, now let's eat. So I like I like a dish that you can stick your, you know, get your hands into and, oh, yum. Perfectly cooked, I must say. This is a great dish. I would serve it for guests. I would also just use it as a weeknight dish because it's so fast. 